So who's your uh, ideal customer avatar? So I did this the other day for one of, uh, one of the businesses I work with. They just, they just want wine tours. And so I looked at the landing pages I had and the ads I had, and I realized I'm like, this really doesn't speak to, um, to the, the type of person that's going to be using uh, their services. And so after doing a little research, I kind of found these were the demographics, um, you know, uh, typically a homeowner over 35 years old. Um, typically I notice it's more females inquiring about them than males. Um, maybe the female is just put in charge of doing that. Um, but what I want you guys to focus on is the right side. Okay. Because this is really how we're going to come up with the copy. Um, look at uh, number two there doesn't enjoy planning. Okay. Uh, so in doing my research and by the way, how I do all this research is I like to go on Yelp and I like to just start reading reviews and I like to see what, what are the people that are happy saying and what are the people that aren't happy saying? And generally what I found with wine tours is the people that were happy were all saying the same thing. One, they really liked it that the person they were working with was more like a concierge, okay? They were very knowledgeable. They knew the area. They knew the different wineries. They knew the good restaurants. Um, so what I found was typically these people they're not looking to rent a vehicle, right? And that's the great thing about wine tours and why it's gonna be a lot harder for all these autonomous vehicles and all, you know, everything that's coming to disrupt something that's more of an experience. Um, I know John Taffer talked about this at the LCT show. Uh, so really what you're providing is an experience. You're not providing transportation. Well, you are, but that's just a small piece of it. Really what they're looking for is they're looking to be taken care of. Uh, I know myself, I've never, you know, I, I've actually, I've been on wine tours. I've never booked one myself, but if I was to actually book a wine tour myself, you know, I don't know where to go. I don't know where to have lunch, where to have dinner. Um, and so really the person who's going to really uh, be the most powerful person on your team is that front line of sales and you want to make sure whoever that person is is very knowledgeable but right now we're talking about landing pages and websites so how do we want to what do we want to say on our website to show them that okay we know the area we know the best restaurants we know the best wineries we're going to take care of you you don't have to worry about anything right that's kind of what i want you guys to get from this is you, you need to understand, okay, what are they worried about? What are, what are some things that they might be potentially frustrated with? What are the pain points? And the truth is you guys probably know this far better than I do because you work with these people. And so you know what, they, what pains them, what worries them. And um, here's, a little, uh, here's a little more um, of an example of, you know, um, their fears and the implications of those fears. So being ripped off or overcharged, uh, working with a company that doesn't make customer satisfaction, number one, um, looking bad in front of their friends. Okay. So now we're getting a little deeper, right? Because you have to think when someone's signing up for a wine or when someone's, um, you know, doing a wine tour, many times it's a party of people, right? And usually one person gets the responsibility to set up this wine tour, right? And so it's kind of on them. Everyone's relying on them. And so they don't want to screw this up, right? Because their reputation's on the line. And this is all very important to understand when we're crafting our copy. Because what we really want to be doing is assuring them that we're the experts they're going to be taken care of. If, if something goes wrong, customer satisfaction is number one. We will make it right. Um, so some other, you know, things, having a disappointing lunch or dinner, an unprofessional chauffeur, spending too much time coordinating the plans and making sure everything is right. So, and then what are they really looking for? 
to look good in front of their friends, right? Because really what they're, they're envisioning is when the wine tour is all over, their friends are going to be like, oh my God, this was the greatest time I ever had. You did such a good job. So they're kind of taking the credit for the job you guys are doing, right? So our, your job essentially is to make them look good in front of their friends because these are all the things that they're not saying, but that are going on in their mind. And so you'll see um, some other things, you know, having fun, memorable time with family and friends, a good lunch and dinner and so forth. So now that we know what their fears are, what their wants and desires are, what their demographics are, let's start crafting some messaging that really speaks to what they're looking for. And this is actually real messaging I've used in my campaigns that works really well. So what do we see here? Let us plan your day in Napa, right? Leave the planning to us, your wine tour concierge. Our wine tour concierge will help you plan your perfect getaway. Get your itinerary now. So letting them know, I see wine tour ads all the time that talk about, oh, we have a great fleet. Oh, you know, um, rent our vehicles. Uh, they're, they're brand new and, you know, but if you're doing wine tours, that, that can work for certain customer avatars. But when we're doing wine tours, we really want, want to understand what is it that they're, they're, they're looking for. And with wine tours, after doing extensive research, I've found that it isn't so much that they care that, you know, it's a brand new vehicle. Don't get me wrong. They want a nice vehicle, but that's not their number one concern. Their number one concern is they don't want to have to worry about the planning. They want to make sure everything's taken care of. They want to know that they're working with an expert and that they're going to have fun and that they're going to look good in front of their friends. And so here are some other ideas for copy, um, you know, knowledgeable chauffeurs, professional chauffeurs, all inclusive or upfront pricing. This is big, no matter if you do wine tours, uh, if you rent, you know, large vehicles like charter buses, motor coaches, or whether you do party bus rentals or corporate limo service, the all-inclusive pricing or upfront pricing, all of you guys should be using that on your pages because there's one thing I see over and over when I'm on Yelp and looking at bad reviews, it's, oh, they weren't upfront about their pricing. They added on all these other taxes and fees and surcharges. So even if you have to charge more, make sure that rate you, you give them is all inclusive. And if it can't be, that's fine. You just have to really hammer it home that, hey, there's gonna be other fees, but this, this should be as much as it, as it is. So, so that's a big one. And then of course, satisfaction guaranteed. And this goes without saying guys, you should all be wanting to make sure all of your clients are satisfied. There's nothing that's going to grow your business more than getting lots of happy customers.